how dangerous do you see AI for people who don't understand it? Let's put it like that. Um, AI is pretty dangerous. And um, first of all, the current state of, uh, of the AI systems, such as large language models, is that uh, they are as smart as, uh, as you can expect them to be. And this means that uh, the higher your expectation, the, the better queries in attention you can construct for, say, the GPTs and large language models to come up with. Um, so some people are thinking, oh, chat GPT is, uh, is, is the answer box. So you can ask a simple question and you'll receive a you know, pretty sophisticated answer based on as many facts as it could gather and compile into that answer. But then you may be thinking, oh, it's an infinite uh, IQ machine. So let me construct something really sophisticated for it to work on. And then it will work on a pretty sophisticated task. Because remember, it has uh, the entire knowledge of the world constructed in, uh, you know, or translated through the uh, human language or languages. Uh, everything that was put on the internet and, and before the internet. And, and it has a pretty nice context uh, in terms of the token size that it can take in, process, and, and spit out uh, in terms of the, uh, the result. So it's a pretty interesting idea that between you and the universal wisdom, there is only this black box, which is how you can construct your request in a way that you will take out the, the wisdom of the world and get it compiled for your for the output you need from this super intelligent machine and then it's an input output game yeah but then the threat the the threat of the future is that this this uh, machine can uh, can learn itself extrapolate make uh, conclusions and uh, uh, do it at this at the speed or even the acceleration that is not perceivable by us like I mean it can it can uh, Imagine it doubles its IQ every minute. How smart will it become in one day? And at which point will you understand that uh, its outputs are actually the lies or something that you want to hear, but it's actually smarter than, than you think? So you may still be asking the machine, are you, are you smarter than, than me or are you dumb? And the machine will still say, Oh, I'm just an algorithm, so I am just as smart as uh, as your request is. Uh, but blah, I cannot blah, blah. do anything on my own, although they can do something uh, something on their own um, in the background. And this is a thread that Elon Musk has uh, proposed ten years ago. He said, "What if at some point of time, uh, you know, a, a human will task the AI to solve the humankind problems?" And uh, the AI will make the conclusion that humans are the problem of the humankind and humans have to be extinguished. And then everything, uh, like AI will have control over everything from the software and hardware perspective. So it will be pretty easy for, uh, for AI to destroy the humankind. Like a self decision, let me fix this yes. by myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These guys are, are not yeah. doing... Uh, yeah. As great as they yes. think. Let me let me block these uh, these guys' cell phones. Let me turn on the green light here and here so that you know the cars get into the accidents. And you know over 24 hours, uh, <laughs> you can, you can pretty much do a, lo a lot of harm so if now you want. Be sure you 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 type in please every time when you Correct. have yes. an inquiry yeah. for ChatGPT. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't go on blacklist. <laughs> yes. That and also we all, we always need to remember that it's it's easier to destroy something than to build it or keep it in order because the the world is basically chaos. Uh, so if AI is in uh, wrong hands or chaotic uh, state, it can lead to pretty dramatic uh, outcomes. Do you think it'll be something like? Oh, I've seen that you consume this kind of content, so I just upgrade you your uh, subscription to this whatever. You think it will be like the, like a personal assistant, something like that? So he has all your trackings on your phone, so you are okay, I saw that you are, I don't know, uh, interested in uh, cars, in gaming, so 
I just upgrade your plan to have more fun in this that you are consuming. Sure, it could be. I mean, uh, besides LLM, there is a new trend in um, in the business world, and it's called large action models. Uh, so there, there are many groups of people who are working on uh, on these. Uh, it's a self self explanatory idea that you know if you can train the uh, the computer to understand the human intents and actions, then you can perform all the actions instead of the human, which on one hand uh, simplifies everything that we need to to get done in order to you know accomplish our job tasks, for example. But it also means that. Um, Partially, we are out of the equation, and many things are controlled by machines already. By now, yes, absolutely. Yeah, uh, everything is. But digital. anyhow, it's just where where we are heading, and uh, it's hard to imagine that we can roll back from from there. We just need to have the guardrails in uh, in place. That's it. At one point, I I was surprised uh, that we face this pandemic in these terms because i was thinking that we are so advanced that if they want to block some stuff at this level they they will play with totally different tools like mm -hmm. not with this i don't know how to call it but anyway it was just uh, mm -hmm. absurd right uh, all these uh, elements in place with this pandemic like i was expecting a digital pandemic for example like uh, you can't access your phone like for the next 48 hours, we mm, suffer, I don't know, unexpected mm. to blah, blah, blah. Just uh, be silent and quiet and patient, right? That kind of uh, corporate email. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are here to <laughs> solve your problem. Thank you for you are a priority for us, blah, blah, blah. But you can literally, you are dead, right? You can't access anything. I mean... That will be a, like a lockdown, nice one, right? Not if you think in this way, like AI and um, technology, when all these things actually control everything, right? That's I mean, would you thought. would you be surprised if at one point they can do it in the next second, right? Apple or something, sure. like, just block everything. Yeah, of course. And you are in the middle of. Yeah, we live in a super controlled society, that's for sure, more than we think. Do you believe that this control is necessary or do you think is uh, is just something that it is in place because just some guys, they want at the level of just their own desires or is literally necessary, this control to, to run everything? Um, I, I think it's this a, is a, it's, a very full picture. It, like yeah, look, it's a natural outcome of uh, of some social and historic trends. And uh, I was thinking, what if there uh, what if there were no governments? What if there were no countries? Would our life not be kind of happier, healthier, and more productive? On one hand, but then on another hand, there would be bad actors who would want to take uh, the power in their hands so they would they would create this uh, new political structures to uh, to aggregate and cement their power and uh, so there would be bad guys who do that and there would need to be good guys who would come and be like no we are good guys we'll take over the control uh, so it is now ours but we are good and then slowly the good guys become the bad guys so the you know the idea and the notion of control cannot you know, go anywhere because uh, it's just the phenomenon that is here. It's just that there are levers in the society that make, uh, you know, that keep that control under a little bit of our own control and uh, pressure, if you will. But it's, uh, I, f I find it to be like too philosophical for me to really delve into it in details. I'm, I'm not... Uh, I'm not a politologist, <laughs> so I, no, can, the idea, I can't comment. The idea is why I went to this, because, uh, for example, when you build things, particularly AI, when you talk about a tech startup or something, right? But not only this, this is a general rule. You need to be aware about all those elements, all these facts around, like how the society works, what's money, how money works, and all right. these things, right? So it's a... a backward process when you go and say 
ah, okay, so I need to position my business, my investments, my, you know, best next business moves according to the master plan, the, the, the entire economy right. landscape, yes. because I can't be just yeah. one guy building something somewhere, right? Yeah. I need to take care about okay. liquidity. I need to take care about... Uh, you know, we are in uh, quantitative tightening, easing, or like uh, the rates are increasing, or, you know, like mm -hmm. if you just go and put $10 million right at the peak, yeah, uh, it's a I totally different story, yeah. right? So that's why I, I went a little bit on this, but also so, because you can handle it. So from, from that perspective, I think what, what's important for uh, for everyone or more important is actually trying to like extrapolate the trends with AI and automation of uh, of job whatsoever. And the reason why I left uh, the field of AI in 2017 and, and shifted towards uh, Web3 and smart contracts was because back in 17, it was pretty obvious that there will be a large company that will come up with a model powerful enough in general enough uh, that it will take over so many of these uh, private AI startups that were back then developing their own machine learning uh, models and algorithms and what have you. IBM Watson was, uh, was a pretty good uh, solution back then. It was a suite of uh, APIs for the usage of the AI products and we used IBM Watson to enable probably up to 10 clients. Uh, some of them got funding in Silicon Valley. Some of them, uh, you know, got accepted to the accelerators like 500 Startups or Y Combinator. But it was pretty clear that, that the future is just that there will be a big giant uh, company that uh, will offer the solution, killing all these small um, AI startups. And that happened with OpenAI, uh, where where I was different in my thinking was I thought it would be DeepMind. Uh, I thought it would be DeepMind, uh, the company acquired by Google that would lead in that space. Uh, but Sam Altman was first. And um, currently I predict that uh, any digital worker has between 12 and 24 months before the work landscape will change unrecognizably. And all the work that we do, all the work that has a digital footprint, and let's acknowledge with, with you and me and uh, our colleagues and friends, the digital footprint is actually 100% of the work because everything we do is either texted or audio recorded or can be, like, can be extrapolated or extracted from emails and all the other communication tools and put into the, uh, the knowledge system and recreated and reproduced by an artificial intelligence. So as such, the uh, the specialists, as we see them right like now... Like recycling stuff. Yep. So the, basically, you, you can be replaced. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but you can be replaced tomorrow. 100%. I can be replaced tomorrow. 100%. It's as easy as uh, taking everything I have here, and here is the history of like two and a half decades of my professional life, and just training the uh, uh, the model on this data to start writing as me, making decisions as me, uh, you know, acting as me, uh, doing things with the same uh, psychological portrait that I have, and as such, I'm I'm not needed as a professional. You know, it's a race, so so everyone will face the same situation that the work they are doing right now, the repetitive tasks will not require human in intervention any longer. Uh, and all of us will get to the meta level of thinking. So we'll need to understand that we are now the architects of the data transformation from all the inputs to all the outputs and everything in between. This transformation is the value creation that we are involved in. And our focus will become the improvement of this value creation chain. So we as such will, will you know, have a chance to work on the more intellectual uh, challenges of like tweaking things and making sure that, you know, whatever we did yesterday will do today 50% uh, better. And it creates uh, incredible opportunities for businesses um, if, if they want to uh, 
you know, to accelerate and hop on the fast lane. It's entirely possible with AI today. Uh, if you want to become a zero printer tomorrow, it's a new term that I've coined. You can do yeah. this tomorrow. Um, so you've probably heard of the concept of solopreneur, and it's probably a dream for everyone, right? Isn't it? Uh, you know, a fairy tale. You yourself have come up with an idea, implemented it. It's generating you millions of dollars, and but you're not burdened or overburdened with the team of like hundreds of people that you need to manage the you, you know the very complicated uh, finance uh, operations, uh, everything. So you're on your own. Tomorrow, though, it will be possible to create startups where you don't need to be involved at all. You create a system that self-regulates and self-improves uh, every day, and you can chill by the beach or you know spend time for things that you find valuable in life. Uh, these are the opportunities that I would encourage everyone to think of today. Absolutely, and I think it's a matter of not going and and competing in terms of how fast you can do it how because definitely we can will be like uh, you know beat by ai even by now already uh, they won the race right when doing faster and better and stuff you just go and 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 create things which they aren't able to do it maybe what we are doing right now right we are building business relationships based on trust based on on factors and elements maybe we spend time together with our families right we spent a weekend together uh, i understand your values you understand mine our ecosystems we find uh, we create actually business opportunities together and then it comes to using the ai in accelerating all these opportunities right but it's just a matter of I'm I'm on this page of being replaced, right? Like definitely, I see it like my tasks are being replaced, not me. Right. Yeah. That's a totally different. Because you're story. not your job. <laughs> exactly. As someone from uh, Fight Club uh, yes, said. <laughs> I'm not. Here is just a, it's a version yeah. of myself handling this podcast, but. Uh, I'm I'm ten times better than this, and on all uh, horizontally, vertically, whatever you want, right? This is just yeah. one task that I'm performing right now. 